Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. We have been away for a couple of months and this area where most of my succulents are housed this is sort of a covered area I have a previous video of what they look like before and two months later without any watering or anything this is what they look like now so I'm just gonna take you on a tour of some stress plants so these ones are out in the open and this is the Echeveria chocolate and as you can see there's a lot of uh, that white powdery mildew or something in there and this is again I can't remember what this is but because it's stress I think this is um, could be an Echeveria as well I forgot what it is the label is gone or disappeared but it's got lots of babies in the bottom there and this is uh, Echeveria early right and again lots of babies around so probably need to get rid of all this dried up uh, leaves in there and to expose the babies and the Kalankoi Blosfeldayana there's a little bit of life still on that one but the rest of it is dying. They're still alive. That's the main thing. Aloe Jovina, but, and we had some frost as well, so they got hit by the frost. And also this one is the, my Black Knight Echeveria. It's still alive. That's the only concern I have, as long as they stay alive, um, that's okay. And a lot of dry leaves. This one is Echeveria setora, and it shoot off all these uh, flowers and again my bits and pieces just already some plants growing in it and that one was stressed as well and it's flowering now so I don't know that flower is all dried up but again there's little babies inside there Tavaria polydonis and a lot of them are not looking very healthy but the important thing is, it's alive. The Euphobia millivenus is dead, look, and then that other Ionium is barely alive, but the important thing is, it's alive. And then that one as well, don't know what that is, but... Semper Vivum, stressed Semper Vivum. It actually turned a beautiful red color and my Mexican snowball is flowering and there's more babies but this clevia or clavia look at the most gorgeous flower isn't it beautiful that is so beautiful but you can see that the leaves are dead I mean dry not dead <laughs> but anyway and there's new ones growing popping out on the side there Kalankowi, dead on top, but the bottom is still alive. There's new babies. And what I'm impressed about is string of pearls. Sinisho, Raulianos. And look at that, it's flowering. Look at that. And it's got new growth. And this ones, I'm sure, I've already put that on this side. And I think that would have rooted. So as with that one there, look, can't even pull that off. That's already rooted, so I've got a few plants now. Donkey's tail is still alive. I have a lot of stress plants here, and because they're stressed, they're all flowering. Well, most of them are. So I've got voidis. 
And then this one's here. My topsy turvy, look at that, it's dry topsy turvy. You see, it's all wrinkled up and dried up, not very healthy. But I'm sure if I soak that in water, it will pucker up to life again. More little agavoides flowering. So Echeveria or Echeveria agavoides. More stress plants flowering. And then this one is just gorgeous. It's like a beautiful big cabbage. But anyway, this is just out in the open. And there's lots of new babies on those ones. My neglected plants. Even that one there, look. It's got new babies. So that is uh, Sempervivum candy floss. And that's the big version. And more Sempervivum stress, but they just look so pretty. Even this one has got one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know if that was already the same like that. It just got smaller, but anyway. And you can see that's really dry as the soil is already um, falling back or shrunk back from the edges of the pot. So you can see that one. And this one's got heaps of ants busy eating the little bugs, eating the little bugs that's eating the plant. But anyway, uh, aphids, I think those ones are aphids. And also more here. They haven't grown, they actually shrunk. Now, more other plants in here. Now, this is, I forgot what it's called. Graptopetalum paraguayensis. I think they are, but nevertheless, still alive. Some of this one is dead. I forgot what it was in there, a yonium probably. Uh, golden goddess is sort of still, I think, might be alive if I water it. More stress plants. I can see signs of life here and there. These ones are still alive. Whatever is in there is already dead. And in this corner, look at that. Check out my figs. I got three figs. Still alive and the moss are all still alive. And my Asiatic lilies are popping out. My cobra plant is still alive more succulents see the grass is already growing i got aloe i got sedum and forget me nuts has popped out from somewhere i didn't plant that there that one is dead i forgot what that is but anyway that's what it was still a little bit of life so probably i don't know if i watered that it'll come back again this one's here there's no improvement uh, from when I planted them, they actually decreased in size, but they're flowering and they're still alive. I think this one has grown. Can't remember anymore, but anyway. And my Kalankohi over here. Or Kotilidon, actually. That one's Kotilidon. Still alive, half alive, but it's mostly dried up. So the important thing is, they are still alive and I can revive them by just watering them. And then little ones here. See, my sedum is still alive. I don't know if my crassula is still alive in here or no, it's dead. Oh, okay, but that's okay. And euphobia is flowering. That is called uh, euphobia Cherokee, I think, with the plugs, but you can see that is just dry. Not a drop of water and lots of weeds. But that lo looking pretty, that one. So that's what my garden looks like, the back garden that is. Uh, after two months of neglect. And, but look at these little Paraguayensis babies here. But then anyway, at least now I know plants that doesn't survive. Um, that two months of neglect has no right being in my garden. See, so and anything that survive can grow some more and then even this thing see I don't know what that is but maybe if I water it something will pop out of it like magic poor things 
Okay. My Provon non Burgetiveria. See the cobwebs? Okay. That's two months of cobweb and this poor Hawarthia. Look at that, huh? I'm a terrible mother. But anyway, look at that. When it's stressed, they got more babies. And this is Gaswarthia, or Gaster Aloe, sorry. This one is Gaster Aloe. Look at that. It's still, it's quite thin, but it's still alive. And this Orbea, or Orbea Lipida. They're still, the ones are shriveled up, but they'll come good again. And my Jade Tree. The variegated one, variegated jade tree, is looking actually good. Probably don't like too much water. And this one too. I forgot what this is, but I think they're crassula. Uh, what is this one? Agave. Foxtail agave. There's one, two, three, few babies, but the top is sort of dried up. But otherwise, it's still all good more uh propagating thing and my pineapple look pineapple still alive and another orbea looking healthy actually and this one as well look at that poor thing really uh thirsty so i gotta water it that one's still good and look at this one's flowering because it got stress this Hawarthias and even that one trying to go into the ground again. Gasteria is still alive. Gasteria still alive. Aloe still alive. As long as there's life, there's hope. I can revive you again. See, look at that. That one's all dried up, but then there's all these babies in the bottom. And so is that one. It's a bit windy today, but anyway, I don't have a choice but to get a video. Um, or else I'm never going to do a video. So this is what the plants look like now that we came back. So after the winter, And that one, I don't know what it's called, but it's very pretty. Oh, hang on, there's a label. <laughs> and these have grown from a leaf. It's a, supposed to be a variegated uh, black prince. My Lawi is dead. But everything else, still pretty good. That one is Sovereign Blue and the Crassula Hummel Sunset looks dead but there's new shoots coming out and that one is Halbingerii it's not affected by the frost at all and Carrie's Choice in the bottom looking pretty also that one is actually Pachyveria Moonglow this is Cucinea, so it's actually flowering and it's just gorgeous. On the left side here, Joanne Daniels, Sovereign Sands is looking good, and that one are all alright. 
This one is Catella. Uh, it looks very bad at the moment, but it will come back. And also this one, Euphorbia polygona. So a few years later, this is now my Mexican giant and Victoretta. Frank Reynolds. And I also have separated a lot of babies from these plants. And these are one of the babies from my Echeveria Ichok. Kante that has died down and recovered a few times. This is my original red edge or lipstick. This is one of the babies that has now produced a lot of babies. And so many more other plants. I can't specify them now because there's so much of them, but these are all propagations. And the rest, of course, is just but a distant memory. <laughs>